and I've really been enjoying the foam. This is a damn good foam. All right, guys, we're back with another one. And this is my last word review on the LG V20. So here we have it. This is the LG V20. This is my daily driver. This is the phone that I'm going to be using on an everyday basis. Because the LG V10 was such a good phone. I said the LG V20. Let's see if it's better. And you know what? In a lot of ways, this is a better phone. Look at the design. No longer a rubber texturized back. This is a nice, soft, silver back. And it looks good. But it can be a little slippery. So you may want a case. But it's a nice design. You got your volume rockers on the side. Nothing on the other side. But this eject button. So you can eject the back. To replace your battery. Add extra storage. Let's just get into the main thing. That people talk about. Which is the screen. The screen. 5.7 inch quad HD display. And a lot of people say LG don't make good screens. It's not as punchy. It's not a nice screen. I think it's an awesome screen. I really like this screen. And this screen saver that I have is actually a picture that I took with this phone. So you can see everything looks real crisp and everything, especially on this screen, it looks really good. So the screen, I don't have no issues with. And there's a, another great feature about the screen. The screen won't break. No matter how you slam this phone, no matter how you drop this phone, it's going to be very hard to break the screen. So if you don't have the punchiest screen, you're definitely going to have the most durable screen with the LG V20. You have a secondary screen. So you could take, you have a little shortcuts over here so you can get to your Bluetooth, you can get to your Wi-Fi, you can get to your volume and your flashlight. I can't tell you how many times it's so nice to get easily get into your flashlight when you really need it. camera in the front. Let's talk about that. This five megapixel camera serves like it's two cameras in one. It serves as a regular camera and it also serves as a wide angle. This five megapixel camera takes some awesome shots. So let's take a quick look at some of the shots from the five megapixel camera. Fingerprint scanner is one of the fastest on the market. It's pretty good. So LG still got their buttons on the back, but they decided to put the volumes on the side. But the button on the back, I'm really used to. Having the fingerprint scanner on the back just makes sense. I really like it on the back. So the fingerprint scanner is not the fastest, but it's definitely faster than most. It's very good. When we're taking a look at the cameras in the back, the cameras in the back are pretty good. You got a, the 16 megapixel camera is really going to take you some nice, really vivid shots that you're going to enjoy, that you're going to like send into your friends. Everyone's going to compliment you on the shots. So the 16 megapixel camera is on point. The 8 megapixel camera is unbelievably great. The shots that it takes is very good. And of course, it's wide angle. So let's take a look at the 16 megapixel and the 8 megapixel camera. Let's take a look at those shots. Now, taking a look at those shots, you can see the wide angle is pretty good. These are auto focusing. Can't be a little jittery. I, I, I think it probably needs to be tweaked a little bit with a software update. 
but it can be a little jittery and it keeps a blur sometimes. It can lose focus and not regain it at times. But other than that, it's pretty good. The speaker. The speaker at the bottom is not the greatest sounding speaker, but you can get by. Speaker sounds clear and nice. So the speaker on the V20 can hang with both phones. It's not going to blow anybody out of the park, but it's definitely nice and clear and it tells the story. I like it. Now that takes us into the audio. You're going to get some great sound coming from the V20 because it has a DAC. This has a quad DAC that's going to make your headphones sound unreal so with a mail-in rebate type of deal you can get these bang and olsen earphones no extra charge depending on your carrier and the situation you can get these earphones with the v20 and these are very very good looking earphones they feel good comfortable now when it comes to the sound I'm not tre tremendously blown away, but a lot of people are. It just doesn't match the sound signature that I like. And I don't feel the DAC makes a difference on these particular earphones. That's just my opinion. But these red ass earphones to me, look at the build, man. A real top notch quality build at a really good price of around 20 bucks. And you're going to get the awesome sound and the DAC makes a big difference. These are probably my best earbuds when it comes to sound. You're going to get some high quality sound when you use the V20 because of that quad DAC. The Type-C charging. The Type-C charging is unreal. You're going to get some fast charge to your v20 when you use that type c charging battery life is going better when you put it on battery saver mode lg v20 is going to give you some top notch audio sound you're going to get top notch cameras the cameras are so good they're going to surprise you and that wide angle camera is going to be addicting and your selfie shots are going to be improved with this 5 megapixel, especially the wide angle, it's on point. And the screen, durable. This phone won't shatter at all. This is a really high quality phone and the price is on point. So this is my last word review on the LG V20, it's all around one of the best phones on the market today. You definitely won't be disappointed. The V20 is on point. So pretty much with that, that's the end of that. This is the last word review on the LG V20. It's a phone that demands respect.